All right, here I'm going to show you how to change the strings on an electric guitar. This actually is a first act guitar, but they're pretty much the same, more or less, on any guitar. So I've got a pack of strings here. You can get these from Walmart or Target or wherever. They're pretty cheap, and they're okay. Um, but let's go ahead and open it up. Now, you just want to pay attention, and it's labeled here, that this is the... E string and this is the thin E string or the high E string. It's going to go right there. Uh, we have the E and the B string are broken so let's go ahead and open this package. So we're going to use the E and the B. Now some people like to replace all their strings at once. I don't really care uh, so I'm just going to replace one at a time. Now the first thing you want to do, take it out of the package, and it's wound. So just unwind the string. Okay, so here we have, this side has this little kind of nut, a uh, little piece of metal. And what we're going to do is turn the guitar upside down. Okay, and so now the high string is on that side. And some guitars uh, are even easier than this, but uh, this one you just put it through the hole, and we'll pull it up through the other side. Not all the way there yet. See it wanting to come through. Okay, so here we have it. It needs to be realigned, but we have it at least coming through that spot. We'll pull it till it kind of locks in place. Then we're going to feed it up through this spot here, which aligns the string. And these can be adjusted, but uh, for this video, we're just doing a string replacement. There we go. I don't want to get a kink in it. There we are. All right. Okay, we got a little bit of one there, but it'll straighten out. Okay, and then we're going to come all the way up to the neck. Uh, this right here is called the nut. And we're going to um, pull the string underneath here. And as we tighten the string, it will... Um, Now, a lot of people have different theories as to what types of uh, things you should do. I will show you one knot, basically. It's called a clove hitch. You do a loop, and then you do another loop, and you put the first loop on the top, second loop on the bottom, and pull it tight, and then we'll fish the rest through. That's a sailor's knot. It's called a clove hitch. Oops. If we can get it going properly here. Okay. So now we'll go ahead and tighten this string by turning the knob on the side. Keep the string underneath there.
Okay, so now the next thing you can do if you want to, I mean, some people I know like to leave these on, they think it looks cool or whatever, but I'm going to go ahead and just trim some of it off. Okay, and then we're going to get this off. This is the remaining string from the previous. Okay, so we got that string off. So let's go ahead and put on the B string. Slightly thicker than the E string. We're going to put it on the exact same way, so I'll just go over this again. Okay, so remember it's upside down, so now we got the B string right here. Go ahead and put that through. Okay. And just make sure that it's uh, going through this here. All right. Going back to the neck. Secure it. Just line it up on the nut. Here. Now, again, I'll show you the clove hitch. It's hard to see on this background. Let me zoom in. Okay, so here's the clove hitch. So here's the end of the string. We're going to create a loop and create another loop. Okay, so we just have two loops. Then we're going to put the first loop on the top, second loop on the bottom, put it around the peg, knob, or whatever you want to call that. And just pull it tight. Okay, and we'll put the string underneath and secure it on. Okay. And then you just want to hold it on and then feed it. Tighten the string. So obviously you've got some tuning. Now um, that's how you do it. That's how you change a string on a guitar. And in the next video, I'll show you how to tune a guitar. The easiest way, or the funnest way anyway, is if you have a Mac, you can just uh, buy on eBay a three-quarter inch cable to USB. And that way, you can go right into GarageBand, which is free. And it's got a built-in tuner, and you can record and change all types of amp settings. So it's way better than when I was a kid, but... I picked this guitar up for $15, thought I'd let my kids use it. My guitar uh, playing days are over. I've got too many things to do now, but anyway, that's how you string a guitar. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.